Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Making Something from Nothing. And when I showed you this uh, brass melting furnace uh, during the build, uh, if you haven't seen that, you can check it out, it's in uh, another video. I said the next time that you see this thing, I'm going to be melting some brass. So I decided on short notice to go ahead and uh, charge up the, the crucible and uh, fire this thing up. And I went ahead and rammed up a quick mold and uh, did a pour yesterday. Uh, the melt went great. This is the sprue and the gate, and this is just the uh, little uh, riser for the uh, for the air vent uh, that came off the uh, the back of the piece. And I went ahead and ground that down uh, nice and flush. So it's basically a scallop shell, and uh, I'm actually really pleased. This is the first time I've ever casted brass. I coated the inside with ITC 100. You'll see that in the video of the build uh, if you want to go watch it. But uh, after melting brass in this thing, uh, the, the interior looks exactly the way it was before I even put the burner in and melted this brass. Uh, that ITC 100 is some good stuff. I melted this brass start to finish and had it poured in less than 15 minutes. Uh, this little furnace, I am going to love this thing. I, I bet you it'll do cast iron. I'm drilling the back and I'm going to go ahead and tap it out and I'm going to go ahead and mount this shell onto this nice piece of wood. Uh, it chipped out when I was drilling it, but uh, it's going to be covered up. And I'm going to go ahead and mount this on the back side. And I'm going to hang that up as kind of a, a testament to my first uh, brass casting. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I have a, a new toy as well. Picked it up from my neighbor. He's getting old and decided to get rid of some of his toys. And I picked up this 10-inch uh, portable Ryobi table saw. He only used it twice, he said. And uh, it's in perfect shape. I've gone through it and made sure everything is, you know, nice and uh, perpendicular. I had to do four or five different adjustments on it, but it's right now. And the first thing I cut on it, was this guy right here and uh, I've got perfect 90s all the way around and uh, I think I'll be real happy with that uh, it's always something I wanted and uh, I'm glad to have it and I also picked up from him let me just move the tripod so we could see it this is something I never had I have an oxyacetylene set, but he also hooked me up with uh, that 225 Lincoln Tombstone Buzz Box. Nice AC welder. And he gave that to me. Didn't charge me a dime. And gave me about uh, 200 welding rods and a welding helmet. Uh, apparently he likes me. Thank goodness. But uh, that welder was worth more than this uh, table saw right here. And the table saw he sold to me for 50 bucks. So I got the welder and the table saw for 50 So let's get back to this little uh, project. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And I'll bring you along for the ride. I also wanted to show you guys this little device that uh, I made. I, I fabricated this out of a bunch of junk. Uh, apparently I made something from nothing and let me show you what this guy is this is my little pouring shank for the the little brass uh, crucibles that I'm going to be using in this furnace here so I've got this little uh, lifting tool for the crucible so we've got molten aluminum 
in the crucible. So I'll drop that in there. And I just lift this up. And this is what I used yesterday, and it worked great. And then I just release this little uh, ring around the handle that's keeping it open. And it snatches down on there. And I can go ahead and pour my uh, brass without worry about the crucible uh, flopping out of this thing. And it worked really good. So you pour your metal, lift your crucible back up, and throw it in the furnace, and it's a done deal. So I figured I'd show you guys that as well. Well, I started drilling out the uh, the back of this shell to go ahead and uh, be able to mount it to the wood. And uh, it's about 90% done, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, drill out a little bit more, and then we're going to tap it so I could uh, attach it to the uh, piece of wood. Piece of crap Harbor Freight stuff, but... It'll do. I'll tell you what, I do not like this holder. Thing's a piece of crap. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's see if our quarter 20 goes in. Got about five or six threads to grab onto. That's really all I need. I think I'm going to find me a little larger washer for that. Well, this washer doesn't really want to come off unless I have to work for it. And I don't feel like working. So I'm going to slide another one over top of it. So we'll have two, a locking washer and a flat washer. And it looks like I need to cut about three eighths of an inch off of that, uh, off that bolt. So let's take care of that. Threads in nice, so let's see if I took too much off. And there we go. Now I just need to make a little bracket to uh, hang on the wall and we'll call this done. Well I found a small piece of, uh, it's just a sheet aluminum and it'll work good for what I want to do. Just like that. And before I score and bend that, I think I'm going to go ahead and drill it. So I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball up the center. I'm not concerned about accuracy on this thing.
And that looks good to me. So we got us a little bracket to uh, hang on the wall now, and I uh, think it looks pretty good. Well, I decided to go ahead and have the shell facing up instead of down. I don't know, it's kind of like horseshoes, I guess. You don't want your good luck to go out the bottom, so... I went ahead and remounted this on the other side and uh, cut a bevel on this side and this side here if for nothing else just to uh, play with my new table saw and uh, I think it turned out pretty nice to polish it up a little bit but other than that it's done Well, I have no idea how well this part of the video is going to turn out. But I'm going to go ahead and hang this up uh, in my bedroom here. If I can hold the iPad with one hand and stick this guy on here with another. Try and get it reasonably straight. And that looks pretty straight. And there we go. My first brass casting in a backyard foundry. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you later.